All right, very good there, Christopher. Good to have you with us on a busy afternoon. Let's get some calls in. Rich in Naples, Florida says hello first. Rich, good afternoon. How are you, pal? Okay? Chris, how are you doing? Hi, right, Richard. Nice to talk to you now. Long time. What's on your mind now? Fire away. Uh, let's see now. The whole thing with Mike. Um, I read it today. Bill's article on that. But, you know, I have to say that Mike has to take at least, and this is just an opinion. I love you guys. Been listening to you guys both for 30 years. I came over to Sirius as soon as you made the jump. Mike has a little bit of an ego. And that ego has to be fed, and he misses it. And that's why I have a feeling he went back because he wanted to do he wanted to do something. And I don't think he's I, 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 people who you know. Uh, listen, I completely agree. Know. I think Mike missed it a lot more than he thought. Go ahead. I'm sorry to interrupt. But and, next, no, uh, it's it's no problem. And as far as the other guys, they had a chance, and you kept on saying, and they didn't do it. Get a rating. Turnoff did an awful job in throwing people together at the last part, and I said this to you from the very first time. What the heck are you doing throwing Bart Scott, who has nothing to do with baseball, and he also hated the reporters putting him in a spot where he gets to talk to people about things that he doesn't even know. And he, Bart Scott just needs to grow up, especially with the tweets that he did. You didn't say the name, but we know who went and said it. Well, again, listen, I don't want to – I'm trying to be very nice here and not go crazy on picking anybody specifically, but let me say one thing about that. If they made me the outside linebacker coach of the Jets or the Ravens when Bart was there – I have a funny feeling Bart would lead the brigade, rightfully so, kicking me out the window. What is this guy doing? Where is his experience? So to make me the linebacker coach of an NFL team with no NFL experience to coach the linebackers of the Ravens or the Jets, that wouldn't go over too good. Well, FAN put a guy in who doesn't have any sports talk experience in New York City in afternoon drive. Now, why is it different for the me to be the linebacker coach and not and, and and then it is for an ex-athlete to be on a talk shows. If I would get evaluated as somebody who can't be an outside linebacker coach, then why can't the athlete be evaluated he's not a talk show? So I don't understand why that can't work that way. It works one way for me. I would never take that job. I can't do it. By the same token, I wouldn't expect the athlete to take the... Now, a couple can. Boomer's okay. There's a couple who can do it. It's okay. There's a couple who can do it. But it's not easy. And that's what bothered me. Chat chat with uh, Hayden in Virginia, and he's a boy. I haven't heard from him in a while. Let's say hello to him. Hayden, good afternoon. How are you today, pal? What do you have for me? So, so first off, my, my, my first thing is, if Mike had this retirement thing going for 18 months, this was his big plan. His big plan was to go to the market, misread the market completely, and then go running back to the fan in three and a half months, telling Neil Best, this is my time to go back. I mean, I, I, he's going to go back and, and take over the reins. But come on. That's, that's, that's awful. That's, that's awful. That's awful. Uh, listen, you, I, again, I, there are lessons to be learned. When it's time to go and you go somewhere else, the, the, the grass is not always greener. I don't disagree. Next. W- whatever happened to revolutionizing the industry like he told us he was all going to do, uh, he must not be the, the business mogul we all thought he, you know, he, he, he thought he was. But as far as this, Clearly, Carlin poked the bear, and, and, and you must have done it unintentionally. But with your high heat comments, that got it all started. Out, you know, uh, from what I was told from people, the, 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 the text messages that were sent back to you and to Mike directly from Carlin following that high heat thing is what poked Mike. And then I'm sure what, what the, the comments that Boomer said on the air poked Mike even more. And that w- would you agree that's what he's alluding to as far as these uh, the personal vendetta against him? I have not talked to Mike, but I would think there was something to that. Well, when, when you guys met uh, uh, for that high heat uh, show, w- uh, w- if you were going to the betting window, would you would you not have bet on him landing at Sirius XM that day? No, I, I didn't think Mike was coming to Sirius XM, but the last place I would have thought of was FAN. 
I spent I, I spent I you know I spent a lot of time with Mike that day about eight hours, seven hours, eight a.m. to three o'clock, and the last thing I would have thought about is going back to FAN. But the, if, the if you're if you're if you're, if you're I'm not trying to tell Chris Collins got a bow at, a bow, bow at the feet, but if you're if you're somebody there who got a little offended, and I tell you now now I did not think it was that big a deal. They obviously did, so I could be I could stand corrected. But the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to if I'm hosting that show, and the last thing I'm going to do is text the two guys who hosted it before, and in a text message say, you know what, what I just said a little few minutes ago, I'm not well, doing that, it. because you're, he's not 22, he's 45 years of age. You got to handle yourself a little better than that. That's a joke. All right. Uh, again, you, you ever see Mike respond that way? Did you ever no. have you ever seen? Uh, did, have I ever in the ten years you've been listening to me over here, and I get killed left and right in the newspapers? You ever hear me respond that way? No, but to me, dog, that's the greatest irony in this: that, that he dug his own grave by poking the bear. And the reason his show never had ratings is if if you've listened to him, I've listened. You know, I've, I've, you know, known the guy. He's been on daily. You know, on the SNY show, he's a fraud. He says one thing, one, he doesn't say these things, on, he, he doesn't, like today, he took the high road on the air. Yeah, I, 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 you know, we heard a little of it, and, and I, I... Go on, be honest. Yeah, I, I, I would have been, I, I would, I would have handled that differently, okay? I know you want to take the high road and everything else, and it's easy for me to say it, but I would, I would have been a little more, I would have been annoyed. Guys, they're taking us off the air after three and a half months, can you give us a chance? That would have been my approach. Not that we're trying to do something different and connect with the audience. That would have been my approach. But again, it's a little different, you know. He's and, and he's a good kid, and he's and he's he's a good. I, I I know he's down on me right now, but he's a good kid. And my issue really isn't so much with him; it's with the fact that they put three guys on there. That's the issue. You can't put three. And that's where I ended in a horrendous job. I know it was not easy, but you can't put three people on the radio. One who doesn't know baseball and say, you know what, go at it. I mean, that's ridiculous. I mean, that's the dumbest thing in the world. Who made that call? And I, I, everybody knows it. This is not something I didn't... Uh, everybody I've spoken to, you don't think they ask me, Chris, what do, you think of the, uh, what do you think of it? They always ask me. I can't walk in New York without being asked that question. 19 in front of the hour here on Mad Dog Unleashed. 